Hi everyone, this is Ivo. This topic I will talk about Delta Barcode Scanner DFS uh, 150-485. You can see the system architecture. Uh, we use this one for configuration purpose and uh, testing purpose. So you can see uh, this uh, black uh, square uh, device is uh, our Barcode Scanner DFS uh, 150-485. Uh, and then we will use the uh, USB to uh, IS-485 uh, converter IFD-6500 uh, and then we use the RJ11 uh, cable linked with the Paco scanner. Here you can see uh, we have to connect the uh, IS-485 uh, uh, minus and plus. So here you can see we connect this two wire uh, to the RJ11 cable and link to IFD-6500. Uh, and another two cable is a uh, DC power. So we uh, connect the brown and blue to DC uh, 24 and zero. Next step is to establish the connection between your laptop and the DFS 150. And for IS-485, the protocol is a uh, 115 uh, to uh, bit per second. Uh, then uh, the protocol is uh, at uh, non one. So we can check the device manager about which uh, serial port we link to a uh, barcode scanner. So example here is a uh, COM2. So once we use the software, uh, we select COM2 and then enter the interface, we click this one to search. Uh, once it uh, detects the device, we will show this one and we click open. After that, we can select the, uh, uh, if you want to change the uh, protocol, then you can change the bow rate, the station ID, uh, data bit, uh, parity check, start bit, and the uh, communication mode, and even the trigger mode. So uh, later we'll show you with the single uh, trigger mode first. Uh, regarding communication mode, uh, we uh, provide three type. Uh, if you want to write the barcode information uh, to either POC or HMI, then we can select the master MOBUS. And if uh, POC or HMI will get the uh, barcode information from uh, barcode scanner, then we can select a uh, slave, uh, uh, MOBUS uh, slave. And here you will see for the private, that means we will send a, a, like a string. So you can select this one. Okay, so now we switch to, to the software and again, uh, we can check uh, from the device manager about which uh, zero port we use. And then uh, we select uh, zero port two and click uh, start. And here we uh, click this one to search the device. Okay, once you see uh, detect the device, then we click open. And as I mentioned, uh, you can select the different uh, protocol. And here we also offer uh, three um, modes. First one is for the beginner. Okay. Uh, second would be the expert. So expert mode, uh, you can change the ball rate. You can uh, detect, uh, select the uh, barcode type and I.O. definition and tri uh, manual trigger mode and the uh, continuous trigger mode. Final one is uh, Guru, the master uh, mode. Okay, and we back to the expert mode. So this would be the uh, supported uh, barcode type. And then you can do the I.O. and trigger mode setting, which we already uh, mentioned. And next, uh, we will click this one test. And then we can also uh, click, once it uh, reach 100%, then we can click a trigger. So you can get uh, some information from the object we want to detect. And here you can also check the, uh, you can capture the image and show uh, on our software. So now we click this one test. 
So you wait until it go to uh, hundred percent. Uh, then we can click uh, trigger, and here you can cap capture the image. Okay, then we can uh, remove uh, this bottle and uh, do trigger again, and then we can capture the image. So you will see uh, we capture the uh, barcode from uh, this portion. Then we can change the device. Then I'll uh, tri uh, trigger again. So here you can see uh, this one we can use to uh, capture the different type of uh, barcode. So this is all for this topic. Thank you.